Here, more details have emerged about the accident yesterday evening in which a pilot of a light aircraft was rescued off the South Wexford coast. Air accident investigators are trying to find out why the single-engined aircraft went down near Tusker Rock, around seven miles from Rosslare Harbour. John O'Shockensey, who's originally from County Clare but has been living in South Wexford for the past number of years, was taking the two-seater Avid Speedwing from Wales to an airfield in County Wexford when he was forced to ditch just before 5 o'clock yesterday evening. He was spotted by the crew of the rowing boat, the Orchid. Shall we wait for the helicopter? Do you want to jump in and get it or not? OK. We thought, obviously, a plane crashed into the sea. We thought that was it. But um, yeah, we were very, very surprised. We saw this very bewildered man sitting on his plane going, help, help. It was crazy. <laughs> he was winched to safety by the crew of the Coast Guard search and rescue helicopter based at Waterford Regional Airport and wasn't badly injured. Air accident investigators say there was fuel in the tanks of the aircraft, but they don't know if there was a problem with the fuel supply to the engine. The aircraft is 10 years old and investigators say it's a type of home-built aircraft in that it didn't come off a manufacturing line. Mr O'Shockensey lost engine power and did a forced landing, something which investigators say many pilots would be trained for. They complimented his landing and say it was helped by the fact that the aircraft would have been travelling relatively slowly and that the sea wasn't choppy at the time. They say he's also very appreciative of the efforts of the Coast Guard and lifeboat crews and of the crew of the Orchid. There he goes. Damien Tiernan, RTE News.